In India, cricket is the only sport with the power to captivate the entire nation. After the Indian team won the World Cup in 1983, the sport's popularity boomed, and cricket in India went on to become a multi-million dollar industry, as well as a national obsession. Back in March 2007, we travelled to India just as the national cricket team was eliminated from that year's World Cup. Their humbling defeat to Bangladesh and exit in the first round had left the country's media and cricket fans looking for answers. With the team's all-star batting lineup taking the brunt of the criticism, significant changes were ahead for the national team. We didn't know it at the time, but the talented young cricketer who we had travelled to India to profile would be at the forefront of the resurgence in the fortunes of the Indian cricket team in the years ahead. The rising star who we met was an 18-year-old by the name of Virat Kohli. Today, he's the captain of the Indian Test team and one of his country's most famous faces, currently starring in the 2015 Cricket World Cup. It's great to live in Delhi. It's the capital of India. It's a great place to be with your friends. There's loads to do, but perhaps most importantly, it's a great place to play cricket. In 2007, Virat Kohli was widely regarded as one of India's most exciting batsmen for years and definitely someone worth keeping an eye on. A member of the country's under-19 team, the middle-order batsman was being tipped as a future leader of the senior side. I am basically an attacking batsman. I like to chase bowlers and hit them out of the ground. It's something I'll try to continue to do throughout my career. Indian fans like players who are totally committed, who always try and score big and who are filled with a fighting spirit. They are all things that I hope I have. In the centre of Delhi is the Feroz Shah Kotla cricket ground, one of India's test venues and home to the Delhi district cricket team. It's famed for being one of the national team's lucky stadia, and over the years it has hosted many memorable games. During the first class season, it was where Virat played his cricket. Anil Kumble took 10 wickets in an innings here against Pakistan. There have been lots of famous Indian victories here, and I always feel great playing in this ground. It definitely fills me with confidence. Hopefully, I will be playing here for India soon. In his short career, Virat had made a habit of consistently hitting centuries and persisting with his attacking game even when his team was under pressure. My best inning so far was when I scored 251 not out against Himachal Pradesh. Our team was at 70 for four when I came in and we were chasing 370. I managed to bat through and we won the game. It was fantastic. In the year following our filming with him, Virat would go on to make his debut for the Indian senior team and he was a key part of the team that won the 2011 World Cup. He's gone on to establish himself as one of the best players in the world and the rightful heir to the great Sachin Tendulkar. We left India in no doubt that Virat Kohli would make it in the game. He had the sublime talent and steely determination that is present in all top sportsmen and women. It's really difficult. It's relentless. You have to make big hundreds consistently and be different from everyone else. And even that may not be good enough. But I just hope that I can make it to the top. Subscribe now to our YouTube channel for the very best of Transworld Sports.